the Liar Project has got to the stage where we've created this wonderful piece of work, a uh, wonderful work of art, and now we've got to present it to people, we've got to bring it alive. Wow, that's great, isn't it? Uh, there are people out there, there are artists and craftsmen, who are really passionate about their work, and I thought to investigate how a dancer would relate to uh, to what we've done. You think you know what a liar looks like and then you see the one that you brought today and it's completely different. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be and um, in some ways uh, what's astonishing about it is its simplicity. And what's, it, what's it made? What's it, it's made what's of cedar, it? that's silver, pure silver, and that's pure gold. My God. Carat gold. And what are the, um, the sort of... That's lapis lazuli wow. from Afghanistan. It's mother of pearl from... Indian Ocean. And but Indian on top of that, it's all the ornate work that's gone in with the silver and gold and the various stone decoration and the, the bull's head at the front and so on. It's, it's just a really extraordinary thing to look at, I think. I liked particularly um, the reaction of everybody when once we brought the lyre onto stage and the, the lights were on it and the dancer saw it for the first time and she realised quite what the project was about. Uh, the theatre here is very, very nice because the floor is absolutely good. And I thought that if I couldn't do bare feet, I would use ballet shoes, but actually it's lovely. The shape as well is like a, a bit roundish, like octagonal. Mm. So it adapts anyway to the piece, to the steps. I mean, very moving, I think, and very beautiful, because the story of the, of the, um, the tomb in which the lyre was found with the, uh, with the harpist um, sort of playing to her death was depicted in the dance and um, that of itself is moving but it there's something about music and dance that of the t of the many art forms there are I suppose music and dance go back further and further and further and further um, and I feel that uh, with the sound of the of a harp playing and with the with those um, very beautiful dance images physical images that you know that was a way of getting back to the time of of the lyre, really, if that's possible, and that it was very, it's a very powerful combination of, of three things, the, the, the instrument and the dance and the music. I think it worked perfectly. Uh, it's, once again, it's given us whole new directions of, of what to go, uh, where to go next. Uh, what can we do with, with dance, as well as music, as well as text? Uh, I'm sure we're going to bring this ancient time alive. Uh, I think it's, it's once again, it's a, it's, it, it validates what we've always said, art and music transcend generations. I love the idea. I think it's a really important idea. The whole, the whole project I think is very, very important and um, fascinating and just a wonderful thing to have been asked to be part of, really. Yeah.